Hey everybody, Woody here with BBC Gaming, uh, one of the content creators and broadcasters on Twitch.tv. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick video today on how to set up your green screen or chroma key with OBS version 0.15.2 with Windows. Um, as you can see behind me, I do have a green screen. Um, just some quick things. As you can see, the lighting is a bit different. It's brighter up here and it's darker down here. That's going to cause you issues down the road. Um, that's hands down more important than what quality you're using, what shade of green. Uh, there's different colors you can use as well. But keep that in mind. The lighting has to be even behind you or you're going to have issues down the road like I currently have. But I mean, it works for what I'm currently doing. So I'm content with it. Um, the fabric behind me, actually, I just grabbed from Fabricland. So go ahead and head, your, head down to any fabric store. Think of where your grandma would go to get fabric for quilting somewhere like that um, so for mine I actually got 1.4 meters by 1 meter and I have two strips coming down you can see there's a seam right in the middle you don't have to worry about that it's not gonna be visible when you actually set up the chroma key um, and I mean I got that fabric for maybe $30 and it's just thumbtacked in the wall by all means you can go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a professional setup um, I actually used to be a professional photographer, so I, ha I still have my 10 foot by 8 foot backdrop. Um, I have my stands, I have everything, but the amount of space it takes up, it's not worth it for not this for this not being like my, my main source of income or any basically anything. So I just have a thumbtack to the wall, and I mean it works fine. Uh, like I said, I, my lighting in here sucks. I have a, a ceiling fan right over here. And over here it's dark. You can see just by my how my hands are, how they're lit up. So um, in the future, I'm probably going to end up putting a light down there or something just shining on the screen to make it even light at least. Because uh, that's going to be your biggest thing. So quickly getting into it. Not wasting too much time. Let's we'll shrink that down. Get this over here. So again, OBS version 0.15.2. So... I already created a webcam and uh, that's just your video capture device. So we'll click on that properties. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, go to properties. And then you go, here's all your settings and everything. So configure video. And this is actually for my webcam itself. So I just have a Logitech. Um, C270 and it's just records in 720p. So for me, I'm normally more zoomed in than how I currently am. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Zoom in twice. There you go. More centered with my head. Um, and go to advanced settings. Anything auto, turn it off because it's going to cause you issues, uh, especially when you have a bright green object around you. It's going to try to even out for that. So make sure all your auto settings are off. Adjust everything so it looks the most normal to you based off uh, how your lighting is. Um, you can use different programs to make sure it's the most true, but I mean, for general, most streaming, most monitors are not going to be out too, too much. So go ahead and adjust that to whatever works for you. And again, if you can zoom in or whatever you can. So, oh crap. Read before you click. Okay. So we got that. Um, here's quick to run through my settings. Um, my resolution. Match FPS, I have, again, 709 by full. That'll give you your full HD um, color range. And, uh, yeah. So, getting into the settings now with the chroma key. So, I got my source's webcam. So, go to your filters. Click that. And you'll see it opens up another box here. Get this down a bit. Okay. So, here's me. So I already have it actually made, but so we'll enable that. As you can see, it does, I have mine cranked up pretty high. Uh, just like I said, because of the lighting, the lighting is the biggest thing. So let's assume that this is off. So we'll go to magenta or whatever. You can, these are defaults already. There's green, blue, magenta, uh, guy or custom. Work. From what I read, there's no real difference between green and blue. They both work just as good. It depends more on like what kind of clothing you have. So I wear a lot of black. I wear. I do have a couple of green oh, I shirts. Um, I don't know if when I wear them I'm going to be a floating head. I okay. probably will be. But I mean, just kind of go off that. So that's working. That uh, helps out at all. Back. 
Um, also, you don't have to necessarily have that. I used like a uh, like almost like a gray green before, and you can go to custom hmm, and adjust all your settings off of that. So I'll turn this down. So we'll have this to this, just so you have something. Similarity is basically the individual pixels. Smoothness is uh, the space around that pixel. So, um, and your color key spill reduction, I find all it does is really change the tone around you. So select color. You can see mine's kind of messed up already because it's already set to a color. So pick screen color uh, and it changes in real time based off where you are. So we'll click over here and hit okay. So for me, I'm just using my green and I have my similarity cranked up pretty high. Like I said, the issue for me is the lighting. So you'll see it tries to get rid of up here the more I turn it up and it gets more even, but then down here, because it's so dark, the more I adjust it, you'll start to see my head up here because the lighting will start to go away and eventually your whole body will disappear. So I try to find that sweet spot about here where it's not very noticeable, especially considering my webcam isn't super high or super large on uh, most times I'm streaming, it's usually around right here. So there you go, we got that set up. And it'll take a lot of tinkering around for that. So take your time, find out what works best for you. Uh, like I said, hands down lighting, most important. Uh, don't worry too much about what fabric behind you. It doesn't need to be the perfect color. It doesn't need to be expensive. 30 bucks, some push tabs, a wall. Um, then all you need is your webcam. Get some even lighting on the back, which I need, still need to do. Um, do that, and then you should have yourself a, a decent uh, backdrop for streaming. At least now you can have the game behind you instead of just your wall. Um, so give that a try. Uh, if I missed anything, feel free to drop it in the comments. Uh, I will leave annotations if there's anything I missed. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel down there. Um, as well, you can watch us and follow us on uh, Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash bpz underscore gaming. I'm going to leave a link as well. So feel free to do that. Um, give us a follow. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you, you learned something from this. Thanks a lot. See you later.